uh, at www. Um, noblegoldinvestment.com that's www.noblegoldinvestment.com we are at war and we are in recession and two things the government doesn't want you to know but it's only a matter of time until cracks start to show do you know who will get hit the most you that's right that's why you need to protect yourself and your family because the things will get worse fortunately noblegoldinvestment.com is here to help you You've, uh, you've worked too hard, folks, to build up your savings, your investments, to see it all just crash to bits in a financial fallout from the wars, the trade tariffs, the sanctions that are bound to happen. Gold and silver from noblegoldinvestments.com are real possessions in times like these. Knowing that you're outside the system when it all goes wrong is a good feeling. Matter of fact, a surefire way to keep your money safe for your retirement is to have uh, your 401, especially your 401k, have it in precious metals IRA. Noble Gold Investments will help, has helped many people like you to keep their money safe for years on end. The, this month, they're even giving away this beautiful Gold Eagle American Bullion Coin, the American Gold Eagle Coin, with every qualifying IRA $50,000 or higher. Don't get trampled, don't get left behind. Uh, go to www.noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. Or pick up the phone and call them right now at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. And tell them that Pastor Paul Begley sent you. Or click on the link below. All right. Chen Yu Lin, the owner of A Bed and Breakfast, has had to inform his guest in the last month that he was unable to offer them internet access. Residents of Matsu, an outlying island of Taiwan located closer to neighboring China, have had to deal with challenges such as paying their electricity bills, scheduling doctor appointments, and receiving packages. Matsu's population of 14,000 people relies on two submarine internet cables that connect them to the outside world via Taiwan's main island, the Associated Press reported. Now, according to the National Communications Commission, the island's telecommunications service has attributed the cutting of the cables to two Chinese vessels. The first cable, located approximately 31 miles out at sea, is believed to have been severed by a Chinese fishing vessel. The second cable was cut by a Chinese cargo ship on February the 8th, just six days after the first incident, as per the NCC. Now, the Taiwanese government refrained from labeling a deliberate action by Beijing as there was no direct evidence to implicate the Chinese ships in the incident, the AP reported. What exactly is coming our way? How can we prepare? And what does the Bible say about it? Find out the answers in Deep Impact, Planet X, and Incoming Asteroids. Get critical updates from these experts. Pastor Begley provides biblical relevance, and Bart Begley presents another amazing documentary. The Deep Impact Planet X and Incoming Asteroids DVD set. Available now at paulbegleyprophecy.com. When former Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro returns home from his United States vacation, he will face another challenge related to a dispute involving jewelry worth $3 million, which is claimed to be from Saudi Arabia. On Tuesday, Brazil's National Comptroller launched an investigation into the case of a collection of jewelry, which includes a diamond necklace, earrings, and a watch manufactured by the Swiss brand Choppert, Bloomberg reported. Now, the former energy minister of Brazil, Benito Alberic, acknowledged over the weekend that his delegation had brought the jewelry into the country as a gift from the Saudi government to Bolsonaro and his wife, Michelle. However, they failed to declare the items into custom agents, and now the investigation is underway. It is worth noting that Brazil is currently under the leadership of leftist leader Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. At the request of the Justice Ministry, the federal police of the country initiated an investigation as well. The world economy, the 2030 global agenda, the emergence of a new world order. What's the European organization CERN discovering about how the universe works? Experts explain in the Concerned Webinar DVD from Paul Begley Prophecy Ministries. 
Pastor Paul Begley teaches what the Bible says about these apocalyptic events, and Bart Begley presents another thought-provoking documentary, The Concerned Webinar DVD, available at paulbegleyprophecy.com. According to officials, what started as a road trip to Mexico for cosmetic surgery took a harrowing turn when four Americans got embroiled in a drug cartel shootout. The violence resulted in the death of two individuals, while the other two were held captive for several days in an isolated area of the Gulf Coast before being rescued from a wooden shack, the Associated Press reported. As per the governor of the region, while drug cartel factions were rampaging through the streets of Matamoros, a group's minivan crashed and was shot at soon after crossing the border on Friday. In addition, a Mexican woman, about a block and a half away, was also tragically killed by a stray bullet. The drug cartel abducted the four American individuals in a pickup truck, and as the authorities in Mexico searched frantically for them, the cartel kept relocating them, even taking them to a medical clinic, quote, to create confusion and avoid efforts to rescue them, Tamalupas Governor Americo Viriel said. According to Irving Berrios, the chief prosecutor of the state, the individuals were discovered on Tuesday held captive in a wooden shack located in a rural area called Egido Tecalate, east of Matamoros, on the route towards the Gulf's Baghdad Beach. They were being guarded by a man who was subsequently arrested. On Tuesday, the surviving American individuals were rapidly transported to the United States, reaching Brownsville, which is located in Texas, just across the border from Matamoros. The convoy, which comprised of ambulances and SUVs, was escorted by Mexican military Humvees and National Guard trucks, which had mounted machine guns. As per a relative of one of the victims, the four individuals had traveled together from the Carolinas with the purpose of one of them undergoing a tummy tuck surgery from a doctor based in Matamoros. <laughs> 